going on, guys? This is Frosty Rook on the Take Back the West podcast. We're one and O. Oh. Let that sink in for a second. With all these protocols, this COVID, this Zoom meetings, and you can't practice, you, you can't do this, we're one and O. Oh. We started the season off right. Obviously, it wasn't the fastest start we wanted. Heck, they're playing at 9 a.m. I don't even know the last time a game was played that early since I was in, like, Pop Warner playing for the Tustin Cobras. Shout out, Tustin Cobras. But I got a chance to talk to Drake London. Obviously, we've seen him on the game, balling. What was his stat line? Let me get his stat line. Eight for 125 and a tut. That's a great day for a receiver. Opening game. But let's, let, let's, let's, let's really dive into this. Let's see the, the rest of the receiving cork, though. St. Brown, seven for 100. Tyler Vaughn, seven for 53. McCoy, five for 51 and a tud. For one, Slovis has plenty of targets. For two, these guys have stepped up. I said this last year, and I'm going to say it again this year, just after one game. We do have the best wide receiver group in the land, and they have the best wide receiver coach in the game, hands down. If you are a coach and you can show them your own tape on how to run a route, how to block, how to catch a ball at the high point, how to catch any football, just like Kerry Colbert can, we're on to something good, man. Let's, let, let's stay with this energy. Let's stay in this vibe. Let's not be all hungover about not scoring 50 points. It didn't happen. It's okay. We're one to know. We got Arizona this week. We got to move on, guys. We got to move on. We can do it. This is what we're built for. You know, the thing we take into this game, take account for this. Arizona hasn't played a game yet. They set out last week because Utah and the COVID situation, they haven't set their pads yet. There's nothing like playing versus another team. Let's be real. You practice more than you play. I get that. But as soon as you get to actually compete versus someone when it counts and everything's live, we got a chance to do that, and Arizona didn't. I'm moving on to the next game. Arizona's what I'm the bullseye's on. Here's an interview with Drake London. Enjoy it. Fight on. We're one and know. Let's press forward. What up, Drake? This is Frosty Rucker. I don't know if you know me. I uh, graduated 2005. Uh, obviously, I'm a big fan. That's why I have you on here. Uh, the Take West, uh, Take Back the West podcast um, kind of jacked that swag from uh, Coach Williams when he came in. But I told him about it. He said it was cool. So don't worry about it. Um, how you doing, man? How's your body? How you feel? Um, I feel really, really good. Uh, body is good. Uh, mental is good. Um, and thank you for having me. Yeah, no doubt, man, no doubt. So I'll dive into this, man. Um, you and your teammates finished a, a great game. Uh, I think your stat line, well, I know your stat line was 8 for 125 in the TUD. Uh, Brown, 7 for 11. Vaughn or Tyler, 7 for 53. McCoy, 5 for 51 in the TUD. Uh, how, how was Coach Casey in the meeting room? What do you say about you guys? Um, it was just a lot of polishing and critiquing. I mean, it was the first game, so – um, we had to get our jitters out. Um, we had to get some of the mental errors out. Um, but pretty much Casey was, was pretty pleased overall with our play. But at the same time, we still had a lot of polishing to get done. I'll tell you what, us fans and uh, alumni are really pumped about what you guys showed out there. Um, you know, you caught a ball a few times and you tried to run through people. You almost ran through someone to get a touchdown. Is that a, an element you bring to your game all the time or is this just a new – uh, Drake London this year, season? Um, especially from last season, I say that it's a little bit of a new Drake London, but at the same time, um, you never want to be the nail. You always want to be the hammer, you know? So uh, with that being said, you got to run through somebody's face, you know? Yeah, yeah, you got to do that. I mean, my Tomlin said you got to do it over and over and over. over. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah. yeah, just like that. I seen him on the game and I was like, you know, talking to the boys, I'm in the group chats, like, look at this kid, man. These guys would play fearless out there. And I, obviously your coach is KC. So I know where that attitude comes from. And you know, yeah. that, that, uh, that real confidence on game day, you know, KC is one of the best, one of the best teammates I've had. So um, here's a question for you. Do you think you're slept on because you do play hoop too? Um, I would say yes. I feel that I am slept on because I do play hoops and I've had that throughout high school so many times. 
um, they don't know where to categorize me as an athlete. So I kind of get swept under the rug here and there. Well, you keep doing what you're doing, young brother, because let me tell you, ain't nobody sleeping no more. I think everyone woke up in college football. Uh, <laughs> like I said earlier, us alumni are really pumped on what you got going on. Your game Thank you. translates from hoop to football. You got attitude. You go get it. So one of the all-time greats, Mr. Mike Williams, BMW himself, number one. Yeah. Um, you know, I talked to him about I was like, man, I get to interview Drake London, man. And he's like, man. <laughs> And so tell him this. He said, Drake London is box office. He has a size, body control, and speed of a first-round pick. Definitely making a name for himself, and I love watching him make plays. And thank you. I, I mean, mean there, that's what there, the, bro. Yeah, there's nothing you can really say. Like, it's it's all shocking to me because I grew up, grew up watching these guys' highlights, and, like, even Reggie tweeted me and stuff like that, and it's – like you guys are some of the reason that I came here, you know. It means a lot, man. Yeah. yeah. And Big Mike speaking on it. He, he usually quiet about it, and uh, he lets guys just do the plan, and he doesn't really chime in. But uh, he had a lot of good things to say on the phone as for that quote. So I wanted to make sure you knew that. You know, you got guys really out here rooting for you. You know, your teammates are rooting for you. And if the if the students were there, students section would be rocking. Yes, you sir. Know, know your family how they feel, but. You know, we we're, we support you guys, man. And Thank you. You go about your business. So, my co-host Will Poole, he's an SC guy, Trojan, got drafted. Boston, <laughs> he started college off at Boston College, and he was a two-sport athlete. He played D one hoop and D one football. Mm -hmm. I mean, that says a lot. You you guys yeah. got similarities there. Um, he wanted me to ask you, who's your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete. Um, Ooh, got him. So for on the football side, it's going to be Megatron, Calvin Johnson. And then on the basketball side, it's going to be have to be Kobe just because of his mentality. And you can't really like teach that in people, you know? Well, you can't, you know, it's a, it's in you. It's something that you got to be able to go to that darkness, man. Tell exactly. You. You know, both. I'm sure in both sports, you know, you got to be able to lock in, and um, yeah, Kobe definitely uh, with that mama mentality. Is, yep. All right. So I checked out your hoops on uh, YouTube. Obviously, I'm mm -hmm. trying. You know, I'm like, let me check this kid out. Let me let me go. <laughs> do. So, do you rather shoot the three ball, or would you rather dunk on somebody? Oh, I'd rather dunk on somebody all day. Ugh, disrespectful. Yes, that's I love. I love doing that. I love dunking. Period. Once I could do it, since freshman year, oh, that's all I wanted to do. Freshman year, that's when you got that bounce. Uh, that's when I got my first dunk. Yes, at the end of freshman year. Two hands or one? Uno. I, I'm a I'm a uh, one foot jumper, but now it's kind of veering towards two a little bit. And you're lefty. Yes, sir. Just like Mike Williams. I'm just telling you. <laughs> It's right there. Um, well, I mean, Drake, that's it. I, I don't even want to, you know, tire you out that much. Keep coming on, man. Uh, study up. Uh, yes, make sure you can get in your ice tub, your cold tubs, and or, you know, that maintenance is part of it, you know? Yes, sir. You stay on top of that stuff. We're rooting for you. Uh, good luck and be the hell out of Arizona, please, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, and thank you for such the high praise and everybody else. Thank you. I'm Drake London, and this is Take Back the West podcast. Now, you listen to the interview. I told you, this kid has something, man. This kid has it. We really got to pay attention to him. We got to keep focusing on him, focus on the group as a whole. Obviously, they all can ball out, but just getting to know him a little bit more and, you know, his hoop experience and how good he is at that and, you know, the aggressiveness and the attitude he plays. I mean, I'm a big fan. Might end up buying his jersey. Who knows? But this is the Take Back the West podcast. I'm Frosty Rucker. Uh, enjoy it.